Hello everyone, it's Josiah from Journey with Josiah. Today I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'll be showing you what it's like to fly on board American Airlines in economy class to Detroit, Michigan. Let's go. The aircraft we're flying today is a 24-year-old Airbus A319, originally delivered to US Airways in 1999 before being passed on to American Airlines in 2013. Altogether, American has 133 A319s serving their global network, mostly on domestic flights like this one. A regular economy class ticket on American will give you carry-on baggage, which includes a small roll-on suitcase and a backpack or a purse. Checked baggage fees start at $30 on domestic flights, which is pretty much the industry standard across the United States. American's boarding process is pretty efficient, being done by groups based off of travel class and frequent flyer status. As a regular economy class passenger without any frequent flyer status, I boarded with Group 7 today. Up in the front, American has equipped their A319s with a small section of 8 first class seats. This is followed by 3 rows of 18 main cabin extra seats, which are economy seats with extra legroom. The rest of the plane is what American calls main, which I'm referring to as economy because that is what it is. There are 16 rows of 96 seats. Seats can be reserved before the flight, but if you book a seat in front of row 17, American will charge you extra because it is close to the front of the plane. That seats are considered main cabin extra, and they will charge you accordingly. For today's flight, I am sitting in window seat 20A. The main cabin seats themselves are modern and are equipped with nice movable headdress. Despite this plane being almost 25 years old, it is clear that American has kept good care of it. The seats feature a literature pocket, a tray table that seems to not have been cleaned from the last flight, a large seat back pocket, and the seat pitch is 30 inches, which the best way to describe is meh. It's not the worst you could get, but there are certainly better options on the market. As you can see here, you will get some extra inches if you're in main cabin extra, and even more inches if you're in first class. The recline is pretty average. Each row has two power outlets located under the seats. Up in the overhead panel, there is a reading light and air vents. The literature pocket contained the standard air sickness bag, safety card, and an in-flight entertainment guide. Today's flight will take us across Pennsylvania and Ohio, 452 miles in a two-hour flight duration. American offers Wi-Fi on their A319s, which I found pretty easy to connect to. For free, it will give you full access to a streaming service, including live TV, which is the standard on US airlines. I definitely enjoy having this on domestic flights. Access to the internet will cost you $12. It's cheaper on Delta and United, who will charge you $5 and $10, respectively. Also, unlike Delta and United, American does not give you free testing, something I found a bit disappointing. The complimentary snack service was commenced efficiently soon after takeoff. Coffee, tea, juices, sodas, and a snack were offered to each economy passenger. Alcohol was also available for purchase. I was given a Biscoff cookie and had a cranberry cocktail juice to drink. Now I'll go over my thoughts on American Airlines economy class on their Airbus A319 on a flight from Philadelphia to Detroit. I walked away from this flight feeling pretty satisfied. American tends to be the cheapest of the big three US airlines, but the differences between them and Delta and United are hardly noticeable. The baggage allowance, seat comfort, and crew were all acceptable. American really only lags behind in technology. Their Wi-Fi is a bit more expensive and they don't offer free testing compared to United and Delta. They have also made the decision to not equip their domestic fleet, like the Airbus A319, with CPAT screens. 
Delta and United have went the opposite route and are in the process of adding them to most of their planes, so keep this in mind if you prefer a seatback screen over streaming on your phone. My bottom line is this, if American is the cheapest option, I wouldn't hesitate to choose them, but if the other big competitor airlines, especially Delta, are offering cheaper prices, I would choose them over American, mainly because of the free testing. If you want to do some more research, I've included some helpful links in a pinned comment below that you're welcome to check out. Welcome to Detroit, Michigan. Thank you for checking out my review today. If there's any questions you have or suggestions for future reviews, please feel free to drop them in the comments section and I would be happy to give you a response. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram, which I've linked in the description below. There you can follow my flights live and even get some more analysis on the airlines. Until next time, this is Journey with Josiah. Keep flying and God bless. We would like to be the first to welcome you to Detroit, where it's